Hey, Miss Blue, what's up, baby? What's going on, Queen Stands Alone? Star Bell, hey, Mika. Hey, C. Mary, what's up? Pixie Ann, hey, you guys. Come on in here. Come on in. Just come on in the room, honey. Y'all seen the title. Y'all seen the title. We get ready to do this one time. And after the day, that's it. That's it. I ain't going to keep talking about this bullshit. We're going to get it all on out of the way. And we're going to do the whole timeline. We're going to go all the way back, but we're not going to do no five-hour video. We're going to go back. I'm going to explain what Vegas Gate is, where it came from, and how it got to where it is now. And when you walk away from here, you should have no more questions. So I don't want to see no more DMs. I don't want to see no more of this back and forth on other people's channels, which is ridiculous anyway. It is absolutely ridiculous that every time you go to another channel, you got to have 15 damn Vegas gate questions, Vegas gate, whatever. There should be actually at this point, there should be no Vegas gate questions that are not posed to Sean Bradley and only Sean Bradley. So that, that, that's grab hold of that. And now I'm going to tell the story. Let me tell you all where Vegas Gate actually started. Vegas Gate wasn't even called Vegas Gate, okay? Vegas Gate literally started, it was called Sniffing and Sipping or whatever. So it was like Sniffing and Sipping something or other. We had t-shirts. We all had t-shirts. I still got mine. It's in my basement. I got it. That included myself, Lady Nika, Alexander Rogers, Squeaky Jones and Sean Bradley. That's it. Five of us went on vacation, April of 2016. You understand? Okay. We went on vacation, had a great time. After that, we left Vegas. You all know what happened next. All the bullshit with Lady Nika and the group and all of that, we had the fallout, okay? At that time, we cleared all that up. You know, people went to their own corners and that was that. At that time, a few, a few, a week or a few weeks after that, Sean and I had gotten together. We thought about doing an event. It was going to be an event back in Vegas. So we approached Alexander Rogers and we included everyone. So we asked Alexander, we asked um, everybody except for Nika, the four of us that were left were posed with it. We want to do this event. We want to do an event, something based kind of like the blackout is going to be a gathering of our people. Okay. And that was that. Alexander declined. Squeaky declined. Was no tea was no shade. They both declined. They said, no, I'm not really wanting to do it, but you know, we probably will come and hang out. Okay, cool. No problem. At, from that time going forward, then we became 2QP. I don't know if any of you all even remember seeing that, but it was floating around. 2QP, which stood for Two Queens Productions. The two queens in question are myself and Sean Bradley. You understand? That function was called SLVS. SLVS. That's what it was called. Vegas Gate was that whole situation with really Nika versus the group and the group versus Nika and the fallout, that, that's what Vegas Gate is. That's why the negative connotation around the word Vegas Gate. The, all the fighting and the arguing we were doing, I don't even know who, I, I think maybe it was Lipstick Alley that actually coined it that, but they started calling it Vegas Gate. That's what Vegas Gate actually was, okay? The actual getting together and the the, the business part of it was not Vegas Gate. It was called SLVS. 
SLVS. It was a two-day event. It was held by myself and Sean Bradley. We put it together. We came together, the two of us, as two QP, two Queens Productions. We put that together. It was Friday night, was a... Uh, a, a party bus. Happy birthday to you. Um, there was a super chat that came down. I see you, baby. Thank you, Michelle Whitfield. I'm not ignoring you all. I'm just going to get through this. We're going to get through the business of this because I've got I've grown very tired at this point and I'm trying not to get pissed off. So I, I'm just going, you know what? Y'all know what this is. Y'all know what this is. This is like being back in Vegas game. Because when James got tired, then James hit the camera and James wouldn't talk about it no more. Happy birthday, uh, TC, baby. Okay, so Friday was the uh, party bus ride. Saturday was the actual soiree. We literally rented a hall. Um, we cooked all this food. Okay? Food, not snacks and hors d'oeuvres, food. I cooked for two and a half fucking days. You understand? Two and a half days. Sean and I actually got to Vegas on, I think, Wednesday. My ass was cooking, cooking, cooking and getting it done. And I'm going to show you the fucking food, okay? Um, But it was a great event. We actually had another friend of mine flew in as well because during the actual soiree that Saturday, that was the food. Do you all see that? That was the food. There was a fucking spread. It wasn't a joke. You understand? And most of that was cooked by yours truly. Anyway, but that ain't no big deal because we were 2Q Productions. So it wasn't about who did most. Sean actually did most of the organization. Sean did all of the calling to Vegas back and forth and a lot of that stuff. We fit in where we got in. We did what it was we did to make for a successful event. Um, did you spend more time at the bingo hall versus being with the group of people there? VS, baby, I never even went to bingo that second time. That event actually took place in October of 2016. Now, back in April, yes, I went to bingo a whole bunch. <laughs> but the actual event, we were there working. Sean and I, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday was the event. Saturday was the actual full soiree. So like I said, I cooked for two and a half days, basically. We got the food together and, um, and all of that. I performed two songs at the, at the event. The entertainment was myself. I performed two songs. My friend Diamond came in. Diamond is a drag queen that actually does comedy. She performed at the soiree. Sean Bradley performed as a shake a at the soiree. Okay? So that was that. We had a great time. There was no issue. Had a good time. Had a good turnout. Took beautiful pictures. All of that. We did all that. So that was that. Sean and I left. We left Vegas. Everything, it, everything was great. Your sweet pace, your sweet place did a super chat. Thank you so much, baby. It's just passing through to show some love. Mwah, thank you, baby. So I says, okay, cool. That was in October of 2016. And so we asked them that night, do you all want to wait a year? Do you all want to wait a year? to actually gather again? Or do you all want to do this again in six months? Do you all want to do our next location in six months? Sean and I had already decided where the next location was. We announced during that event where the next location was. It was New Orleans. We were going to go to New Orleans. New Orleans was going to be a masquerade ball in New Orleans. Everybody said six months. Fayette, am I lying? Fayette was there for all of it. They, they said, yes, six months, New Orleans, boom, let's do it. It was going to be a masquerade ball. Hey, Carolina Blue. Thank you, baby. She did super chat. Thank you, love. So that was fine. Me and Sean went home. We started working on it. Unbeknownst to us, we didn't actually realize how expensive 
New Orleans was going to be. So we kicked it around for a couple of weeks and, you know, we both like to have things done a certain type of way. And we had done so well with our first event and people had such a good time. We didn't want to mess up. So we said, you know what? Six months is not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough time. And we owe it to the people to do it right. And it's New Orleans. New Orleans, and you talk about a goddamn mascara, it got to be right. So we said, let's hold up on it and and we'll get back to it. Uh, um, Fad do super chat. Thank you, baby. Kevin Johnson. Hey, baby. Kevin said, did super chat. Thank you. So it, everything's cool. We still rolling. 2Q Productions. We rolling tight. N Nana. Thank you, baby. Nana did um, super chat. So we rolling. We got everything together. So we decided to cancel the masquerade ball. Now, we didn't give another date for the masquerade ball. We, we're still fishing around, and then we just kind of, the, the idea just kind of dissipated. It was like, that's a lot. I don't know. And, you know, Sean was kind of like, I don't even know if I want to, you know, deal with that. I'm like, I definitely understand. Sean had actually, at that point, started getting really deep into his music, and I was definitely here for it. I was like, yes, come on, you know, because that's, it's all, it's a dream of his. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'm, you know, come on, push, push, push. So the next thing that ended up happening, Sean finished his, well, he was finishing up this song and he approached me about he's doing this music video. He wanted to film the video in Nashville. I said, okay. So that's the next thing we did. We went to Nashville. Sean laid the tracks, the actual tracks for his song, Breathing Through the Fire. And we shot the video. We were in Nashville for three days. Two, three days. We were in Nashville for three days. Next thing we did. Thank you so much, Miss. Uh, ooh, I don't want to say it wrong. I was up. Thank you, baby. Come on. So we're in Nashville for three days. We get everything together for Sean. It's cool. Boom. No problem. Now we're actually, this is all in 2017. This is 2017. So then we say, okay, cool. So we had all been talking, Alex and Squeaky and all of us, about going back because April was our time of our vacation. Now, we knew we're going on vacation. We're going back to Vegas. We're going, we're going to have us a good time. We roll into Vegas, and we're going to just vacation. So in the midst of that, Sean says, you know, we're going, we're going to kill two birds with one stone. Because people are talking about they want to see us. Ms. Rimrev, Mr. Rimrev, thank you, babe. He said, uh, speak that truth. Um, gave me a super chat. Thank you. I said, okay. So, said so we're going to kill two birds with one stone. We're going to be in Vegas. We're going to meet up with our people. I said, cool. No problem. We're going to do a meet and greet. Thank you so much, AJ. Um, we said, okay. Come on, Rim Rob, you you really carrying on. <laughs> Thank you. So we're we're like, okay, we're gonna meet up with our people. They want to see us. They keep asking for us. It's like, all right, cool, no problem. So um, that ended up being April. So bam, here we are back again. So this time, boom, it's me, Alex. Squeaky couldn't make it. Fayette took Squeaky's place. This time, Yarrell comes along where well, you all know him as spilling all the tea. He comes, okay? And then there's myself. We're all back, and we actually went back to the same house, okay? And we're there, we're having this whole thing, and we're doing a meet and greet on that Saturday. Rented a space. It's a very small, just a small meet and greet some cute little foods, some finger foods, and some salad. They cute, but it was really more settled around Sean and his video release, and that's what the function was. We did a meet and greet where we were all showcased, and you know, we just basically it was myself, um, Tiki, um, spilling all the tea, Alexander Rogers, Sean Bradley. Um, 
uh, uh, the ghetto view was there. We were all being celebrated by the subbies and it was beautiful. There was no charge for anything for that because, you know, I'm big on, I don't believe anybody should have to pay to come and meet me. If there's not something where I'm actually entertaining. Now, all about the Glamazon, I've been doing, I've been a professional female impersonator for 24 years. If you run into the Glamazon and she's performing and all that, it's going to carry a ticket price. That first year, SLVS was $100 for that two days, okay? No problem. You know, I had other performers. We had to, you know, people had to be paid. It was what it was. So we had this informal. It didn't cost the people anything. They came in. We loved on them. They loved on us. It was wonderful. But it really did circle around. It was more uh, celebrating Sean and his milestone. He had finished his first, you know, real music video. He had worked so hard on it and the song was out and available. Boom. So that's what it was. It was not Vegas gate. It was never Vegas gate. Yes, we did the meet and greet. Yes, we hung out with everybody. We went down on the strip and that we had a wonderful time. It was not Vegas gate. It was not an event. It was a meet and greet, and then after the meet and greet, we hung out with our people. But in the midst of our vacation, we were on vacation. That second April was a vacation. It was vacation. It wasn't an event. It was a vacation. Okay, so let's move on. We leave on up out of Vegas. Boom, we're gone. What did we do next? We ain't did no more events. Sean and I and Fayette all got together and we went to um, New Orleans. We went to New Orleans and that was for the Jazz Fest. That had nothing to do with YouTube. That was just friends getting together, going to an event. We all wanted to see Anita Baker. It's her last time out. That was it. We did that. Ain't nobody talking about no events. We're pretty burned out on events at this point. But no events being done. Lady Bethshua Moshe, thank you so much, baby. Oh, absolutely. I just want to clear this stuff up. So now we go all the way to this past, what was this, 2000 and, 2007, the end of 2018. End of 2018. Thank you, Shirley. End of 2018. I get a phone call. Now start paying attention because this is where all of the bullshit starts, okay? So I'm going to clear this up for y'all. Start paying attention. Write it down if you have to. I get a phone call from my buddy. Sean says to me, hey, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm, 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 I got that, that thing going again. I'm like, what's up? I'm do, um, do an event. I want to do this event. And he explained to me everything that he wanted this event to be. He didn't even, there was no name or anything. It's just, I want to do this event. Okay, cool. So he tells me everything about the event. I'm like, cool, no problem. So as he finishes telling me, he says, but I want to do this alone. I want to do this one alone. And I says, oh, okay, no problem. Cool. Because we've always talked about, oh my God, we can't be separated. Like it's like people don't, people are starting to not see us as separates anymore. It's like it's James and Sean is like one entity. And then they were like infusing Alex and then they start calling us the reading rainbow. And it was just the best. So I was like, well, you know, cool. So I understand our brands are totally different. Our brands are completely different. So I'm like, cool, no problem. So I say, okay, well, when is the event? And he tells me it's April. April is like, Oh, okay. Which is generally our time to go and vacation in Vegas. We had already been talking about going back to Vegas. Squeaky was coming back in. We was going to go to Vegas and hang out. But it's like, okay, well, the hell with that. We're not doing that. We're going to go down. We're going to hang. It's going to, Sean's doing it. He wants to do the event by himself. Cool. We're going to come on down. We're going to hang out and he going to do his own event. No problem. No ill feelings. No nothing. No drama. 
it just was what it was. He wants to do the event on his own. Okay, cool. Now, I don't know why this got so crazy, but I was definitely on board with this for one whole month. One whole month. I was like, okay, no problem. His tickets were $150. I said, cool. And by the way, when we got off the phone that day, we got off the phone about 30 minutes later, his website launched. So it was already, Sean works very fast. That's what he does. He had already been working on this. He had already had his mindset to what it was he wanted to do. He let me know what he was doing. Boom, he launched it. So it didn't matter what I said, you know, when we were on that phone call, but Sean already knows me. Sean already knew that I got I got your back. I was going to have his back. So it was what it was. Now, had I had an attitude and said, well, no, 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 no. How are you going to do this without me? It wouldn't have made a difference anyway, because everything was already done. Okay? So all that bullshit, I don't know where all that came from. I literally said, cool, one full month, I was here. He's talking about it. He's telling the people about it. And there, James, is James coming? Yes, James is coming, blah, 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 blah. The more I listened to what was going on, I said, what the hell is going on here? And all I'm hearing is James is going to be this and this is going to be that. And I want to meet Milan and blah, 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 blah. So as I'm paying attention, I said, this ain't going to be right. This ain't going to be right because this boy wants to do this event on his own. He's stepping out on his own to, he wants this spotlight on him. And if I go to Vegas, the spotlight ain't going to be on Sean. It's going to be the spotlight on the two of us. And is that fair? Is that fair? That ain't fair. That ain't fair. Because when we were two Q Productions, we did everything 50-50. Whatever the cost was, I paid 50%, he paid 50%. Well, he's taking on everything 100% at this time. So, no, he don't need to be sharing no spotlight with me. And it continued on and continued on till I said, listen, this is what I'm going to do. I ain't coming. I ain't coming. And that was the friend in me. So where people were questioning me and my friendship, that was the friend in me. It didn't matter about me at that point. I'm stepping out of the way because I don't want to stop what's going on. You looking for this shine? You want to do your event, you doing your thing, you want to do your thug fizzle, bust it down. And me being there, I know for a fact, I've been a drag queen for a very long time, okay? Drag is a very clickish sport, you understand? So I understand about a spotlight and sharing a spotlight when you really don't want to share a spotlight. You ain't got to say nothing, I know. I'm going to help you. I stepped out of it and said I ain't coming. From that point all the way on, we went through the bullshit. Are you coming? Are you coming? Are you coming? You all seen it. Everywhere I went and all the chats, I was aggravated for eight months about, are you coming? Are you coming? Oh, is James coming? On and on and on. This shit went on and on. I said 900,000 times that I am not going to Vegas. Did I not? Did I not? All the way down to the day that they landed in Vegas. People were DMing me. Where are you at? What are you doing? Why aren't you here? I told you, motherfuckers, that I wasn't coming to Vegas. I told you that. I told you why I wasn't coming to Vegas. I ain't never told nobody no sideways story. I ain't trying to throw no, no crazy narrative to nobody. I've been very honest about this mess the whole damn time. They went from that, they literally switched over that day to, well, are you coming in 2020? I said, child, go enjoy yourselves. I was right here watching everything go down, right here with everybody else, seeing them having a good time over in Vegas. What and no issue. They having themselves a good time in Vegas. It was what it was. Everything. Sean wanted, he got from Vegas Gate 
uh, 19. And hello, where do you all think that the actual title Vegas Gate 19 came from? He was trying to figure out what to name it. And I said, hey, we were sitting on the phone brainstorming. I said, shit, everybody knows that title is strapped to it anyway. Go on and name it Vegas Gate 19. And that's how it became Vegas Gate 19. Now go ask him. <laughs> okay. So it was that. It is what it is. Everything's cool. Me and Sean ain't got no fucking issue. It was what it was. People have been, oh, something's wrong with the friendship. This People did all that. I ain't never addressed that. I ain't never addressed it. The friendship is none of everybody's business. It's only my business and his business. That's what it's always been. It was what it was. And we're playing semantics at this point. So now he's getting ready for Vegas Gate 2020. He's getting ready for Vegas Gate 2020. You all remember when I was down in Dayton, Ohio. Remember when I came live to you all and I addressed the Vegas Gate 2020 thing? And I said I was only addressing it that once. People kept asking me, Vegas Gate 2020, are you coming? I'm answering. I told them, no, I'm not coming because they had already started it. No, I'm not coming. And you know, it's beyond the thing now of about could I dim? It's not about me dimming his shine. He got it. It's all him now. Everybody knows who it is. Everybody knows who it's wrapped around and all that. I should be able to walk right up into the event and there be no issue. You know what I mean? It should be no problem. But I said no. I said no that I'm not going to Vegas game. Okay. So now dig this. I don't know what the hell is going on in these streets right now, but I don't really care. And I'm really tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of hearing about it. It's just some fuck shit as far as I'm concerned. That shit that happened last night with Jay Wilson and all that, I don't know nothing about none of that. I couldn't make heads or tails of that shit with Jay Wilson and Tracy and Sean's name and Samantha Graziano. I don't know. It don't have nothing to do with me. I don't give a shit about it. I don't give a shit about it. My name came up. Samantha Graziano said, you know, I don't, she didn't like how just what Sean did to James. The what Sean did to James that she was talking about was Sean splitting off and wanting to do the event by herself. That is her Pennsylvania privilege for her to feel that way. She ain't the only one that felt that way. A lot of people felt that way. We're not going to sit around here and pretend that we didn't see that shit in the chat, on Lipstick Alley, in your DMs. You all seen it and you know it. Okay, I ain't touch it. It is what it is. Samantha and everybody else who feels that way have their own thing to do. It is what it is. Now, I'll say this. Samantha Graziano did not lie yesterday when it came to me. The thing that she said that I said, I fucking said it. I said it, the videos are out there. You all sat out here and seen it. I don't know where the, the, the whole thing switched over. I saw the people in the chat talking about, James wanted Sean, no, 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 no. And where did that narrative come from? James ain't never told Sean, oh no, I don't want to do it with you. You go ahead and you do it. James didn't do that. It didn't go down like that. James was told right along with the rest of you all that Sean was doing an event by himself. And it was no problem with James. But James, that was not James's idea. That was Sean's idea. So Samantha Graziano did not lie. She didn't lie. I said that. And I've said it on multiple lives. I've explained it multiple times. Okay? So stop spinning the narrative. Stop trying to change it. Stop rewriting the future. and, and Well, not the future, but rewriting the past. It is what it is. Sean wanted to do the event by itself, point blank, period. Was no problem. It was no argument. It was no fight. That's it. That is it. 
Now, let me tell you this. I'm going to go into this now, and we're going to wrap this shit up. All this other bullshit about y'all in my comments and in my DMs talking about shame on you, you aligning yourself with people that Sean don't get along with. Do you think I give a fuck about that fuck shit y'all talking about? Because I don't. I don't. I'm not aligning myself with a motherfucking soul. What do I need to align myself with somebody for? I'm damn near 50 years old. I'm going to tell you what happened. Now, y'all want the truth? Do you want the fucking truth? The truth is people have become aware and they're at a point where they're comfortable to talk to me now, where they weren't comfortable to talk to me because they thought that our relationship was that of, oh, if you jump on one, the other one's coming, but that ain't how we get down. And people have finally figured that out and they're more comfortable now to come around me and say, hey, bitch, what's up? To come in my chat and say, hey, and be able to talk and live in my chat. That's what's actually going on now. It's not, you know, it ain't all that. Oh, watch out for VS. I ain't what the fuck I got to watch out for VS for. I'm damn near old enough to be VS's parent. Well, I got to watch out for her. She ain't did nothing to me and I ain't did nothing to her. She didn't, and I, like I said, I've always gone in their chats. I've always been over there. I've always been over there in Wiley's. I've always sat there and looked around at Nika's. Oh, well, I think it's strange you and Nika. What about it? What about it? I think it's strange that you and Nika done, done, done um, made peace. Why? It wasn't no stranger than Sean and motherfucking Nicole Tyler making peace. That wasn't strange to y'all. So why is it strange that me and Nika made peace? I'll wait. It wasn't strange when Sean and motherfucking Shelly made peace. Was that strange? Do you all even know why me and Shelly don't even fuck with each other? Me and Shelly don't fuck with each other because Shelly told me, if you fuck with Sean, you can't fuck with me. And I told Shelly, if you make me choose between you and Sean, you'll lose. And I ain't never backed away from it. And now Sean and Shelly that made the fuck up. Did that come across strange to y'all? A lot of fuck shit going on around here. A whole bunch. But can't nobody fake for me. And I don't make little slick snap moves. I don't do that. That ain't even me. That ain't even how I get the fuck down. I don't get down like that at all. I ain't had no problem with no motherfucking body. Most of the problems that I've actually had is me being guilty by fucking association. Now, y'all trace the beast back since y'all love tracing beef so well. Trace them back. The only beefs that I've actually had that were all made on me was me and Justin J. Okay? Me and Justin bumped heads. Me and Nays way bumped heads. Me and Nika bumped heads. But me and Nicole only met up because of Sean Bradley. Nicole bumped heads with Sean and attacked me and told you all, I'm doing it because he's guilty by association. But they made up. They made up and that wasn't no problem. Me and Cemented bumped heads, but Sean and Cemented remained friends for years. You ain't never heard me mention it because it wasn't no issue. It wasn't no issue. So why is it now that me and Nika cool all of a sudden that's an issue? The fuck out of here. That bullshit. Grow the fuck up. It ain't no different. It ain't no different. Me and VS ain't never bumped heads. We didn't have no problem. She stayed clear of me. She didn't trust my presence. And I understood it. I understood it. Because she thought like everybody else. If I attack Sean, this motherfucker coming too. But no, he not. He not coming. Sean handle Sean. James handle James. Period. 
and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of people talking to me like I'm crazy. You know, come on, I ain't that motherfucking soft, and y'all know it. Well, I mean, I just, you know, I'm seeing people in your chat that wasn't in there. Absolutely. You see people in my chat that wasn't in there because they were nervous to come in there. They didn't know how I was going to go because people, oh, you know, he'll read you. No, he's not. I don't read people unless somebody do something to me. But people don't know that. They don't know that. I would have been nervous and ain't nobody scared of me, but I would have been walking around like, yeah, why am I fucking with him? You know what I mean? If you believe that you don't like this one motherfucker and you think that other motherfucker will jump on you, don't nobody want that smoke? Ain't nobody got time for that shit? Don't nobody have time for that shit? I do me. Anybody can come on this platform that want to come on this platform. And as long as you cool with me, we're going to be okay. I don't give a fuck who I'm friends with or who you think I like so much. I am James Caldwell. Come on, let me do, take a page out of Nicole's book. I am James Caldwell, okay? Period. Me. Me. You fuck with me, the only person you have to deal with is me. Whenever I had to swing and bang in these streets, the only person you see me swinging and banging with is me. Me. But that's what's going on. That's why you see... TSCC members, they were always welcome on my channel. Always. TSCC and Sean had a problem. I ain't had no problem with no motherfucking body. At all. And if anybody don't like it, I don't give a fuck. Pack up and get the fuck out. You don't like it, see you? I built this motherfucker over here. And everybody could come here and live and be cool, uninterrupted, male, female, in between, or what the fuck ever, because that's how I do things. Now, you fuck with me, that's a whole nother situation. Then we'll deal. But I definitely ain't going out in the street bothering nobody, and y'all know that. I'm not coming off the porch fucking with people. If I come off the porch, it's because you called me off the porch. And I tell them all of that, that crazy-ass Nicole Tyler, just didn't want to let that shit go. I was a fan of that stupid ass broad. I was watching that dumb ass broad, but that broad got mad with me and she she saw me as the easier target until she got into it. And when I windmilled on that house, she's like, oh, fuck, I done fucked around with the wrong one. You sure did. You sure did. You was fucking with the one you should have been fucking with. But I was guilty by association. That's why I got attacked. I didn't have no problem with that woman. I didn't even know that bitch all like that. I had been watching. She spraying that shit on her wig looking crazy. That was entertaining. But anyway, I just wanted to come and say what I had to say about it. And hopefully I've cleared this shit up. Stop that shit. Stop that shit and stop with the fucking shame on you. Shame on you. You're not being a good friend to Sean. If I was any better of a friend to Sean, I'd be face down in the motherfucking dirt, okay? So I don't want to hear that fuck shit. If I'm not a good friend to Sean, oh well. I don't know how to be a better friend to him at this point. The, all I'm giving him is all that I got. And I'm thinking that's good enough for him. If it ain't, shit. Call me and tell me it ain't, and I'll tell you okay. And that's it. I ain't got shit else to give. I've given all I have to give, and I ain't giving no more. The fuck? Absolutely. I got you, VS. Ain't no need. That ain't even what I do. I don't even provide drama. I'm, I'm, you know, I do my shit. I come over here and laugh and shit, play and make up and shit. If it don't have nothing to do with a motherfucking body magic and some sweat sauce and some makeup and a wig, I don't know nothing about it. Give a fuck. I was so done with that dumb shit yesterday. I was like, why is that? What? Sit and, and what is this shit with Jay? Well, I don't even know. I, I couldn't make heads or tails of that fuck shit. At all. I, I do me. Sean's okay. And we're okay. There is no friendship issues. I'm not jealous of Sean. Sean, you know, Sean's doing Sean. And the whole thing is different. The, if you look at the, the event, it says Sean Bradley all over it. He did, it's branded his brand way. The shit that they did, that's not my kind of events. 
You know, we're totally different. And that was good to see it. It's good that it happened. But it was not my idea. So stop spewing that bullshit. It wasn't my idea. It was not my idea. And the Vegas Gate was literally only one event. Well, two now. Vegas Gate 2016, and then Vegas Gate 19. Sean and I did SLVS, one event, and we did one fucking meet and greet. That's it. That's it. That's all we've ever done. All of it is not inclusive. It's not all Vegas Gate. So stop it. Stop it. Y'all confusing it and mixing all the dates up, and that's why the, the facts is all fucked up. No. No. I laughed so hard at it. I said, people forgot all about 2Q Productions altogether because that wasn't interesting. That didn't sound interesting. It sounded more interesting when you lump all the shit together and screw up all of the fucking facts and then it can make it seem, seem you know, fucked up. So anyway, anyway, thank y'all for listening. I appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it, but I definitely feel like I wanted to get that off. Um, I did it in 42 minutes, which is cool. Now, does anybody want to ask me a question? I will answer. Because after today, I ain't touching this fuck shit no more. I ain't touching this shit no more after today. So you got a question, put it on out here. You can ask me anything. It's cool. Why is Sean saying he has three successful Vegas events? That's why people are confused. We've been to Vegas three times, but I just explained it to you, Ronnie. We've been to Vegas three times, and it was a success. But um, mm -mm. SLVS, and I mean, I guess he could count them that way. He really could count them that way. SLVS, then we did a meet and greet, and then he went back and did Vegas 19. That is three Vegas events. But they ain't all with us together, and they wasn't all with him by himself. They were what they were. Let's see. Why are you no longer friends with Alexander Rogers? Who told you that? I was just in a live with Alexander Rogers, what, uh, like a week and a half ago? Me and Alex shared a live on Instagram. I can pick up this phone and call Alexander right now, straight through it. He'll pick it up. Thank you, my Natalia. We said, don't let him get you riled up. <laughs> I'm not riled up. It's, you know, I just hate when the truth is not. There, you know, I don't like lies. I don't mind being wrong or or people not seeing things the way that I see things, but I don't I don't like lies. Is there is there a reason why you're not trying to go to Vegas 20? I'm just asking for a friend. I'm not trying to go because I'm about sick of the whole thing. I don't I don't even want to be associated with it. I don't even want to be bothered at all at this point. By the time it comes, maybe. But no, I, it's, it's gotten on my nerves. The whole shebang of it has gotten on my nerves. It ain't my event and it shouldn't be stressing me out. So at this point, no, I won't be going. No, I don't have any intentions on going or being a part of it at all. It's gotten on my nerves. And nothing that I'm going to pay, and I'm paying, what, $300? I pay three hundred dollars out my my pocket to be aggravated. I can stay the fuck here and watch them on on the screen like everybody else. It ain't nothing personal, but I ain't going nowhere to be aggravated. The fuck for? Yeah, I'm reviewing ambitions, J Dot. Will you do any costumes? Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all, y'all going too fast. Will I do any costumes? I missed that. How much popcorn have you sold? Not one motherfucking dime and haven't bought any either. That's not my fundraiser. I don't have anything to do with that. Can you design a body suit for the wrench? <laughs> I'm scared you might might lend it to that motherfucking Nicole Tyler. <laughs> You're so damn silly. Uh, let's see. I lost that one question. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, did you see yesterday? 
Lil Poppy said players already been renewed for season three. Yeah, I said, you know they was in my box with that. James, did Cement it or Nicole call CPS on you or accuse you of being a child molester? James, like Susie did, Sean Brantley, that's a big difference. A big difference to what? She didn't do anything to me at all. She didn't do anything to me at all. So it's a big difference of what? What is it that you want me to do, a rose to the gag? What is it that you want me to do with that information? It's a big difference to, to what? Like I'm saying, what are you even, what are you comparing it to? Her and I had no beef. She had no reason to send anybody to my house. She had no reason to name me anything. Her and I wasn't going at each other. See, again, y'all getting wrapped up in some fuck shit. Again, you're meshing the two of us together. So since he's mad at her, I'm supposed to be mad at her. Why? Why am I? You know, that would be my choice. But why am I getting mad at this girl because he's mad at her? Did that make sense? Has he ever gotten mad at somebody because I was mad at him? Ask yourself that question and then come on back down the bottom and bring it, bring it back to me. We ain't trying to, to play the game of, but this was worse, period. Have you ever gotten mad at anybody that I was fighting with? We don't do that. He promoted the Vegas Gate 2019 and hit as his third Vegas Gate. So I do agree with you. He is ignoring you and Alex on the first, but it don't even matter. That wasn't done for us. That was done for whoever. And, I ain't, I ain't ain't said nothing about that. I don't care nothing about it. I don't care nothing about it. But I don't want people running around talking about, I'm mad, I'm jealous. I think he owed me money. Owe me what? He don't owe me shit. He don't owe me nothing. How do you owe me something? It was a clean break. We weren't doing nothing. We weren't doing anything together at the time. We weren't doing anything. James, don't even answer the questions. They're baiting questions. Oh, Sean, they can't bait me into nothing because I'm going to answer things the way I'm going to answer it, Lamone. And Sean knows that. Sean knows me. Sean knows how I, it's going to be honest. It's going to be honest and straightforward, flat out. And he talks the same way. Sean is straightforward. It ain't got to be right. Nobody got to understand. He shoots straight out, right out his mouth or whatever he thinks first. We both do it. It wasn't right for them to sit down together. What if you sit down with VS? What if? It shouldn't be a problem. Uh-oh, y'all done brought Miss D. Ramsey to the yard. <laughs> I didn't even see D. Hey, D. But again, y'all keep forgetting. I keep telling y'all I'm damn near 50. Sean ain't 40 yet. Sean's not 40 yet. Do you think Sean could tell me where, who, and why? He's not even going to try. Sounds that you have no opinion of Sean being accused of, wait, what is this? Wait a minute. Sounds like you have no opinion of Sean being accused of being a child molester. Got it. I don't. I don't have an opinion of it. And listen, let me explain something to you, Queen Stands Alone. I am not, I'm not a foster parent. I am an adoptive parent. I adopted two children legally. I am a mandated reporter. You understand that? Had I thought that Sean Bradley molested children and I had some proof that he did it, I would have made a phone call. You all wouldn't have knew nothing about it. I would have made no videos about it. I would have done what my state requires me to do. State of Pennsylvania requires me to make a phone call to CPS. That's what I would have done. We wouldn't even be having this conversation. Because do you think I would mess around and fuck up my shit? I don't like him that much. I'm not never going to put myself and my kids in, no, in harm's way trying to save him. I'm not going to do that. Not, not up over here. Him and nobody else. So again, y'all trying to get, you're trying to say, take on this fight. Take on this fight. Why? 
And, and I don't understand it. Why? Whenever the fight was going on with me, nobody was saying, Sean, take on the fight. So where are y'all talking about? I want to know if you're giving advice about dresses and stuff. Dresses and stuff for what, Miss Perspective Pat? But actually, no, I don't do custom sewing. So I, I'm, I'm not even, I'm sorry. I'm not, ain't no need for me to even go into that. I, I don't do any custom sewing. I was being nice to Sean and I made them a few things for him to do the thing. I don't enjoy sewing for people. I don't. I really don't. I gave that up years ago. Why can't he sit down with VS? That's his right. Exactly. He's going to do what he wants to do. Sound, that sounds stupid to me. Do you think Jay Wilson is messy? I don't even care. Jay Wilson's like everybody else. Jay Wilson do what Jay Wilson do. <laughs> he can be. He can be, but he says that. I love you and Sean. Y'all are both are two different people who bring different things to YouTube. Always have been. Sounds that you... Okay, wait a minute. Okay, I already read that. The accusation is so ridiculous, it deserves dust and door knocks. We'll break out the sewing machine again. Shut on that branch. <laughs> My new favorite channel of the transparency. My any sane person with proof of child abuse would make would not make the child. That's not that that's not what I was taught. Folks are desperate to cause discord. A lot of people, a lot of people. A lot of people are. There's, I be seeing that shit. I'm like, child, really? <laughs> okay. Like I gave up. I gave up doing hair too. I don't be bothered. I ain't got time. Jen, is there missing the point? You are your own individual. Um, let's see. After all these years watching James, y'all don't know him by now. No, because it don't because it's not fitting their narrative. That's what that's what the problem is. After uh, let's see, this reminds me of twins that want to be treated as two, not one. I get it. What do you really think of club chat in general? I don't think anything of club chat. Club chat is they, they cool. I ain't never had no problem with them. A lot of the people that are in club chat are my subscribers as well. What is there to think of them? They're just subscribers. There are a lot of people in club chat, a, a big amount of people in club chat that subscribe and come over here as well. What would I think of club chat? I don't have no problem with that. I don't have a problem with club chat. I don't have a problem with the Lotus Flowers. I don't have a problem with TSCC. I don't have a problem with anybody's groups, with nays, folks. Not, child, they're all individuals. Would you ever get a man weave? Child, I was wearing that mess years ago. When I first came on YouTube, I had weave. When my hair was curly on top, some of that was weave. <laughs> yep. I'm a hairdresser. Remember, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I've done some of everything with my head that you could possibly think of. Hey, Deanna. Um, on site, let's see. What's that? What did what'd you say, baby? Wait, this is her comments in front of stuff. What it do? Oh, hey, baby. Um, locked head, James. That is why I love you. The, the truth. I mean, the truth. The truth ain't never gonna hurt me ever. The truth will never hurt. It's, you know, and I try to. I tried to keep it quiet. I try. I, I was trying to do it all. Is ZT still your son? Absolutely. Absolutely. Me and ZT ain't never had a crossword. Never. Have never had a crossword. Child, I, I live for ZT, be a ZT, and Z, ZT don't try to tell me how to be me. We don't have them issues. Do we see eye to eye on everything? Absolutely we don't. But we both understand that. I know the things about my my character that don't sit well with ZT, and he knows the things about, you know, 
He knows that there's things about him that don't sit with me that I don't get down with. He knows that, but we don't have them issues. Let's see. I'm saying these people are being messy. It's all right, y'all. Nothing wrong with liking who you like. Absolutely. James, can you lend ZT your AT branch? Cut that out. You know better. Don't do that. So are you saying Jay Wilson's hairstyle is late and tired? Not at all. I think it looks nice. I think it looks nice. And the girl who did it actually did a very, very good job. She did a damn good job. You can't even read the, that it, if you didn't know him, you wouldn't have knew that he had a unit. So y'all be just trying it. But if you didn't know Jay Wilson and that's the first time you seen him, you'd have thought that that, that was how his hair was. I believe you would be a good peacemaker. <laughs> I don't know about that. Because I love the way you talk and you tell the truth, plus you make it make sense. Love why. Because Shonda is the truth will always be the truth. That's that's it. That's the only thing that gets me geared up, and y'all know that. Is the truth if you tell the truth, I can't fight with the truth. VS did a super chat. So thank you, JC, for being truthful. TSCC, hashtag TSCC, hashtag Lady Nika, hashtag team all. Thank you, baby. Thank you very much. You know that's how I go. My child. Everybody's welcome over here, and y'all know it, child. Y'all know it. Y'all know I don't even allow y'all to be fighting with each other like that when y'all be over here. I don't be sitting there letting y'all get down like that. Is Sean a loyal friend to you? At this point, Miss Mary, that's actually for you to, to figure out. Do you feel you I've told you everything? I've told you everything basically about my whole time on YouTube with Sean. At this point, it's left on you to does that sound like a good friendship to you or not? Because I've already said we ain't we we cool. So I'm cool. But at this point, it's kind of on you to whether you feel like that. By you, Bay K. Child, I'm too old not to be grown, child. Yeah. Definitely on the second end, the second leg of this shit. <laughs> oh, let's see. Is zero? Oh, zero's. He's in here. What's up, Anthony? What's up, baby? Grace, I was wondering when you was going to stick your head out the bushes. <laughs> I've been looking for you for days, and you ain't. I said, I started to bring my ass over there to Periscope. I hadn't seen you. Seems a lot of people haven't been. I'm just getting off work. Dang, dang, dang. Had to make an appearance through it all. Come on now. Absolutely. A lot of comments, y'all. I ain't ignoring y'all. It's a lot. Pops, I had to get a call. I've been busy. Okay, I got you. I got you. Jane's been moving the same way since the beginning. And Sean as well. They're good friends. They're friends. Can we have a peace summit? With on-site April and 
See, that's this ain't even the channel for all that. I don't do all that over here. Over here, on site, stand in her spot and dance, and VS and TSCC stand in their spot and dance. We ain't trying to make no peace. We just be over here. You either get along or you act like you don't see people. That's it. That's how it go down over here. Hey, Brianna. Say love you, James. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. I ain't trying to create no, no peace summons. I just ain't nothing but some bullshit anyway. You know, when it when it got to be done all like that. You know what I mean? Child, if it if it's about what it's about, it just will happen. It ain't it don't have to be no production. It'll just happen. Uh, musical mistress, don't I want those nails? <laughs> don't start you off. Okay. Too much has been said and done. Uh, child, that ain't not my issue. All right, well, I ain't gonna hold y'all up sitting there looking crazy because I think that the shady folks then 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 ran out of their questions and people who actually had questions. Wait, I, I got a question. Why do y'all keep Sean's name in y'all mouth? He not... What? Y'all who? Who is you talking about? Sean. I, um, I, he ain't even worried about y'all. Mm -mm, Sean. Bye, you, Bay K. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. That was a blanket question. That Sean, that ain't going. That question, that's y'all gonna start to fight, and it's just. Thank you for uh, the video, Spiller Boy. I respect you. Thank you, babe. Thank you. And again, no harm, no foul. It's not no attack on nobody. It's just, I'm just stating my my position. I'm done with it. Like I said, when I hang up off of this, I ain't, I'm not going down this road no more. I'm done with it. I am done with it. Don't break, I'm going to just, I'm not going to be mean to you, but I will definitely redirect any questions about Vegas Gate to the person that they belong to. And that is Sean Bradley. Sean Bradley is Vegas Gate. 20 and Vegas gate 19 and Vegas gate, whatever comes from after that, he's taking on that. That's his brand. Take your questions about Vegas gate to Sean. I can't answer them. I have no idea. I don't know. No shade, but I don't know. I don't know nothing about the inner workings of it or any of that. And that'll keep the keep the confusion down. If you know that I don't know, then ain't no need to be asking me, am I going and all that? I've answered that today. Am I going? No, I'm not going. I'm not involved. At this point, no, I'm not. No. James, I'm going back to the library to study. All right now, get it all in. Okay, so we got it all. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm glad we were able to kind of wrap that up and put a little bit of a bow on it and nobody got hurt and nobody scraped up their knees too much. And I'll catch you all down to the motherfucking YouTube streets. All right, you guys. Later.